Da, 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 da. I absolutely love that. We are making our way to Epcot right now for a magical night. You can see it's raining just a little bit. It rains every single day in Florida. I am learning, but that's not a bad thing. It means that the rain will be coming to an end relatively soon because rainstorms don't last too long. Maybe an hour, maybe two, and then that's it. Tonight, David and I are going to Electric Umbrella. We're going to ride a few rides, and we're going to see illuminations or reflections of Earth from a new location. We're going to try and see it as many times as possible before it ends in just a few months. Hi, how are you, Susan? Oh my gosh! Hi! Hi. Hey, nice hey, to welcome meet to you. Florida. Thank you, Susan. Oh, You're too kind. Diggity. I can't wait I really to see my family. Uh, that was awesome. That was awesome, Susan. Thanks for being a part of the magic with me. That's uh, that's definitely a magical way to start my Epcot day. You know, cast members are like, "You always bring magic to me." I mean, this is this is this 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 is so. The so magical to me, just the, the knowledge that I can bring smiles to others, and it smiles to, to me and David too. We're having so much fun with this. You have no idea. This is our first weekend. This is the first weekend as Florida residents. Back at Epcot, and it feels amazing. I don't know why the Epcot parking lot just feels super magical to me. I, I don't know why it has some special effect on me. It's just super convenient. Maybe that's it. Love that view. One of my new favorites of Spaceship Earth. Ta -da. That's such a good feeling. I wonder how long it's going to take to complete the entire renovation of the entrance. Because we know what it's going to look like from the concept art, but I feel like it might take a little bit of time to finish it. I don't think I've ever spent that much time just near the entrance of Epcot. I mean, it's, it's a resident feeling. We're getting there with the Florida resident feel. Now we're making our way to meet Mickey and pals at the character spot before it closes because that one is closing too. There's another spot that will be closing soon, the Art of Disney. We'll be back. I'm so used to these uh, cables here and how Future World is laid out. To think of it as a whole new place, it's hard to conceive in my mind at the moment, but I know I'll get used to it. Oh, oh, that yawn counts. It counts. It counts. Mickey, how are you? Good to see you. You're looking great as always. You're ready for fun adventures, I can tell. Oh, yeah, you were saying hi to friends. Remembering our adventure. Hi from me and Mickey. Good to see you. I'm ready for food and wine already, though. I'm, feel, I'm, feel, I'm ready for it. I'm already ready. You know me. Ready for that food. How are you? Good to see you. Uh, I'm already ready for food and wine. I'm thinking about it already. I'm already hungry. You're looking great as always. Oh, hey there. Good to see you. But tonight's Illumination. I'm going to be crying the whole time. I know. It's leaving. I'm going to miss it, though. I'm going to miss it, but keep moving forward. I know. I know. We're both, we both are. But it'll be all right. Was that fun, Dave? So fun. Yes, it was. Character spot will not be here too much longer, but not to worry. The characters will be all around. Feeling a little bit hungry? Yeah, I could eat. All right, Electric Umbrella, here we come. Now, one of the biggest reasons why we're prioritizing Electric Umbrella is because it's not going to be around too much longer. We're gonna try a couple things over the next few days and weeks and enjoy it while it's here. Mojo pulled pork burger looks good. Brisket sandwich is like calling out to me. Three cheese flatbread. I think I'm gonna get the brisket sandwich with the french fries and I think David's planning on getting the Mojo Old Pork Burger. I think we're gonna have to come back here a second time at least. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dinner today with that brisket sandwich and David's with that prosciutto and mozzarella Chicken. sandwich. Chicken, that sounds super good. Is thanks to Mary and Andy. Mary and Andy, thank you so much for your gift card. Truly appreciate it. I'm excited about this. It looks really good. It really does. It really looks good. David's got the prosciutto mozzarella chicken sandwich. I've got the brisket sandwich. Something like that. Brisket. It, whatever we said earlier. Right. That's what I have. I'm instantly impressed. Yeah. How's yours? It's it's quite good. It's quite good. Definitely better than, than when we've been talking about some of the food that's marginal. Yeah. It's much better than that. Yeah. I would say this is just first bite impressions for me is like an eight on the food quality scale. Very impressed with the brisket sandwich. You want to try mine? Please. And I'm going to try some of David's and David's going to try some of mine. That's really good too. Mm-hmm. Really nice flavors across the board here. Yeah. Electric umbrella in total. Really impressing me. Definitely. Haven't been here in a few years. So to me, this is really good quality food. As far as I can recall, it's improved. Mm -hmm. As far as I can recall. Impressive. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. Electric umbrella, definitely one you don't want to miss before it ends. Coming to a close here, I think in September, really, really like it. I'm excited to see what Disney brings to replace it, but 
I will definitely be back before it closes. Overall, Electric Umbrella was really good. The brisket sandwich was delicious. I much preferred this brisket to the one at Woody's Lunchbox. I always used to wish to have more time at Disney, and now I've got all the time in the world. Taking a look at Baymax really quick. Maybe we'll get a quick photo with him. No line for Baymax, absolutely. Ba -la 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 -la. I love it, thank you Baymax. Look at Baymax going in for a quick recharge. Well, we've got tomorrow or the next trip to do figments. Uh, but we have to wait till next trip. Next trip, David. Next I'm trip. sorry. Next Jeez. trip. All the way out till next, next trip. trip. Yeah. Now we're making our way toward the land pavilion and living with the land. Baymax meet and greet. What'd you think? Oh, loved it. Yeah. Love Baymax. Yeah. He is a great hugger. Great I think hugger. it's my favorite hug at Disney. I think so. The Timon and Pumbaa adventure is no longer here, going to be replaced by Awesome Planet, which will be coming relatively soon. Garden Grill, that's one that we haven't been to in the longest time. I've been meaning to get back to it, and now we have time. Just, I just keep thinking about restaurants. I think there's 400 plus restaurants at Disney. I am so excited for the restaurants. Yeah, that's a big part of it. Clearly, we do not need fast passes because it's a direct walk on. And into the future. Game. Looks tasty. Yum. Batter shock. Edible leaves, seeds, and flowers. So, like the water growing in the water. The starchy root of the plant Ooh. has Ooh, long been the used Mickey. to make flour Mickey for right baking. over there. Tons of bananas are eaten there, making it the most popular fish ever. Right yeah. The shrimp on the Mickey. Oh, oh, yeah. I like that. That's really good. Yeah. Man, the I have never seen most of us are Buddha's only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. Awesome. The pesticides. Pepper right there. Another innovation at hot peppers here is snake our insects that prey on that harmful snake pests is very, uh, like aphids and flies. We are significantly lies. reducing yeah. our reliance. What is purple? What is it? Squash. Oh, it's squash. The future of agriculture you see the may orange. include innovative one. Epcot scientists are working cool. with behind the scenes walking tour. At some point, we're going to do it together. Soren's got a 25 minute standby. For David's first flight on Soren, it's going to be B1, front row center. My name is Patrick, and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. We'll begin boarding in a few minutes, but first I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. David, I thought you saw this one before. I don't think I have. Are you serious? That was really cool. David's first time soaring around the world. Did you like it? That was awesome. Now, you just saw the original with me a few months ago. Compare it. What did you like better, worse? What would you think? I think that there are some better smells in the other one. Okay. I don't love the grass smell here. That's true. But the sights are, this is the one to see. Really? This is the one to see. The details? Yeah. The, the transition? Transitions. There you go. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, gotta have that. Absolutely. What do you think next, David? Hmm. We gotta see what's still open. I know That's the hours true. have changed for some rides. That's true. So we have to see what our options are. And maybe perhaps Kamal Kuhan. I'm trying to talk David into it. Perhaps? Maybe. Maybe. All right. I got a maybe out of David. That's. That's close. I'll take what I can get. I gotta appreciate all the little details. The upside down fountain is one of those details that I absolutely love and the fact that I get to spend so much time now appreciating it. I can just sit here for a while. Just catch me by the fountain. Just hanging out by the fountain here. Ah. I love it. Take a look at some of the renovations happening here around Future World. This wall was not here before. You actually cannot go down that pathway anymore. It, I believe, is being expanded for the Food and Wine Festival. It should be done by Food and Wine Festival. Cross your fingers for that. Instead, you have to go through interventions. For now, anyway. It's definitely interesting to see it because I'm so used to going this way to get into World Showcase, and I'm thinking to myself, how long is this going to last? Probably, I would say, Food and Wine Festival is a good time period. If it's not open by then, I would be shocked. I really would be. We can see more of the renovations from right over here. We just exited Interventions, and you can see some of that construction wall over here and over here. There's a door right here for the construction workers to get through, and you can see they've moved the benches up as well. Lots of construction. There's a view like that definitely cannot be beat. So eat some of a chewy common bar. Just a little bit. Just a half. A quarter. David, a quarter of a, a chewy caramel bar. Maybe yeah, I'll try the smallest fragment. I'll try the crumbs that are left in the bottom. No, 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 no. Yeah, a quarter. 
I have the crumbs. I think I, I think I've convinced David to try a quarter. I've been told that I've got to try the frozen flame from Joffrey's Coffee. Let's do it. David and I are now trying the frozen flame from Joffrey's Coffee. David, give it a try first. Let me know how it is. Sounds good. You say that three times fast. Frozen flame, frozen flame, frozen flame. What about frozen flame from Joffrey's Coffee? Frozen flame from Joffrey's Coffee. I'm not gonna try. It. Okay. It's good. It's definitely, it's no night boss. No night boss. No night boss. Okay. All right. Can I compare the to summer's day? I love that. It's good. It's I good. I love it. It's good. The mango, wow, that is fantastic. I would 100% get that again. Perfect for a very hot day at Disney. A little bit of bite at the end of the mango. It is good. It is good. Love this. Highly recommended. Frozen Flame, Draw Freeze Coffee. Time is now 8.09, and considering how crowded the uh, walkways are here, I have a feeling that the spot for illuminations might not be prime viewing, but we'll have a chance to see it, which you know is very important to me. I want to find a better way to describe how I feel in this moment. Surreal doesn't quite do it. I feel like it's more, let's call it unreal today. Because you start to fall from the tourist mentality, and when I say fall, I mean into a comfortable place. So you feel like you have to be super rushed like up here, and then you kind of can slide into a very casual pace around the World Showcase. And of all the times I've been to World Showcase before, I've never taken it this slowly. And this relaxed. And just looking at views like this, Add to that in many, many ways. After that frozen flame, I'm feeling just a bit full. Save caramel cookie hand for another day. Ah, David's having second thoughts. Oh no, no, that's fine. You sure? Yeah, that's good. Save caramel cookie hand for another day. Now that we're here in Germany, it gives me an idea. Why don't we see illuminations, reflections of Earth from here? I've never seen it from here before. I'm shocked that I've never seen it from here before. I keep going to Japan or the illuminations viewing spot, but here in Germany, behind the glass house, it's a very good spot here. Thanks to a very kind friend, we are trying the caramel corn from Caramel Kuhian for the very first time. I tried a piece already, it is absolutely yeah. spectacular. I cannot get over good how good this is, give it another try. Yeah. It is it is worthy, absolutely worthy, of Werther's original name right down the front. This is like this is a get every time kind That's of item. so good. It's fantastic. It really is, it really is. I cannot believe I've never tried this before. Reasons, reasons why I love being a Florida resident. Right. Wow. Thanks to my friend Tina for sharing. Reflections of Earth. Absolutely loved it. David, what did you think? Really, really nice show. Nice view for it as well. My only thing was there was a lot of dust from the fireworks coming down right on top of us here. But amazing, amazing show. But I, I love the spot. I can't get over the spot. I can't believe I've never seen it from here before. Yeah. From Germany, right behind the glass house. The, the lasers had a whole new effect for me in this spot. I am so impressed yeah. by it. Love the show in total. The wind was coming this way just a little bit. Yeah. But a wow. lot of new views. A lot of new I, views from the lasers to the earth moving. I hadn't even really seen that. The earth. Yeah. Yeah. You get a whole new perspective. Standing here, right behind Germany. This is where we are, right behind Germany. There's the glass house right there, there's Germany. I mean, this is a great spot. I highly, highly recommend it. I'm going to miss this show tremendously. No doubt. But, we'll go on. Best way to put it, yeah. we will go on. Hey look, you can even see Happily Ever After fireworks happening right over there as we're saying goodnight to Epcot. Closing Epcot right now, David, what do you think? No crowds around you, how's that feel? It's a great feeling, it really is. Yeah, I love it, I love it. Just the whole park to yourself, just for a few minutes. Extra magical. Moments like this are truly irreplaceable to me. Just, 
just irreplaceable. Memories that will last a lifetime, just closing Epcot. The idea that I can come and do this any night I want to, is just, <laughs> it takes a moment to process that fact. Just like, any, any night, any night I feel like it. And that's, that's just, it's funny to think about. It's fun and funny to think about that one. Take a look at the Hollywood Studios Star Wars fireworks right over there. That's one we're gonna be seeing very, very soon. There they go. So David, how many more times do you think we're gonna be doing this and seeing Illuminations together before it ends in a couple weeks, I'm sorry to say? Hmm. How many more showings are they doing? Uh, between now and the end, I'd say we have about two and a half months. So that'd be about 75 showings? Just about. I think we'll probably catch about 50 more showings. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. When I see an entire Illuminations, Reflections of Earth, fast pass viewing area with no one in it, I can't help but stop and take a quick picture. That thought of, is this real life, still exists for me. It does. It's a little bit less prevalent now because I've been here for a few more days and had more opportunities to say this is indeed real, but it's no less magical. It's a, it's a change, it is a change, but it's not less magical. I think to myself sometimes, how many times am I going to want to close the park at Epcot, Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and I think that I'm gonna to wanna to close them as many times as I feel like I enjoy it, and I really genuinely enjoy it. So I think that I will continue closing parks for some time to come, hopefully years to come. I absolutely love seeing this at night. If you're at Epcot during the renovations, don't forget to stop here at night. It looks like you're walking on the stars as you walk by and you can get amazing photos with long exposure photography. Love it. It doesn't feel sad to leave Epcot, strangely. It doesn't, it doesn't. We'll see this again tomorrow night, or oh. the next night, oh. or the night after that. I love it, I love that feeling. See you soon, Epcot. See you soon. And with that, the day has come to an end, but not to worry, there are many more days, years worth of days in the future. Thank you so much for sharing in the magic with me today. Until next time. Have a magical day. See you real soon.